So I am in the first step of black pacing these um, dungeon tiles. So these are actually um, made by a friend of mine and former student. And um, they were based off of a 3D print uh, designed by the one and only Devin Jones. If you don't know about him and you're in 3D printing, you probably live in a cave because he's the guy on Thingiverse who has made all the most amazing 3D print designs. Um, so this is, I believe, like his ruined cobblestone or ruined dungeon tile set. And I like this the most because of the texture. So I use this as the base, and then I asked my friend who's got a lot more experience, Andy, um, to, to make the molds and to pour the casts, and he did. Um, and it was kind of like a birthday slash Christmas present for me. So I have all these tiles now, three by threes and two by twos, and um, I have had them for a long time, and I just haven't had time to base them, partially because my normal crafting space is currently under construction so so I'm just basically going through here and trying to black base these now I guess spray paint would work well too but it's kind of not the right weather and I don't really have the right space that's ventilated to do that um, so I'm just kind of manually going through and this is going to take forever and it's probably going to take a lot of paint but this black base coat should be pretty thorough and and I want it to fill in all the cracks so I'm trying not to be skimpy on this so the problem with watering things down is it waters down the, the black coat it, it spreads my paint out a little more so I get a little more mileage out of my paint but it also waters it down which means it's not going to be a true black so what I'm trying to do is just get the complete coverage that I can without sacrificing too much black but I'm probably going to have to wait until all this stuff dries and then go back over it again for a second kind of touch up black coat before I move into the grays. Um, you don't always have to do that, but I found that if you don't, you'll end up regretting it down the line. And I, what I want is for these dungeon tiles hopefully to be playable um, at GaryCon. So, they're a lot lighter weight than um, most of the plaster stuff, like her starts pours, but they're also a lot more durable. Um, I don't know Andy's exact formula, but basically I showed him some Dwarvenite and he formulated his own kind of um, setup for these tiles that uses um, a couple different kinds of components. So it's not just plaster. Like these are basically the same composition. I could pick it up and drop it on the ground from a height of six feet and it won't shatter. So they should be the kind of thing where I could just throw them in a bag or a box and take them to GaryCon and use them. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. But I'm thinking I'm gonna have to make a run to Walmart and pick up a couple more tubes of paint because this is, these are just, soaking up the paint like to get into all the cracks and crevices is just getting um, just eaten up the paint so I'm trying my best to get complete coverage here without sacrificing too much quality but I could see that this is going to be a challenge so all right well we ran out of black paint which wasn't a big surprise even though I found another little tube we had a lot of tiles to do so we're running to Walmart get some more tape paint Damn it, take two. Well, we ran out of black paint, which wasn't really a surprise because I didn't have a lot to begin with and there are a lot of tiles. So we're running to Walmart to get some more cheap paint. Meanwhile, I mentioned some eyewitness reports consistent with chlorine gas. Significant eyes on Eastern Just, Cuba. That's right. Do you? Whoop, whoop. Boo. Sir, do you know you're going 45 and a 35? Yes. Uh, you know that's going over the speed limit? Yep, I do. And uh, you know what the fine for that is? No, there will be no fine. Come again? Um, maybe you didn't notice my license plate, but I'm Bill Allen. 
radon and molds testing. Uh, I got both of those in my basement. Section. I'm looking for Swedish fish or um, sour patch. I'll be right there. If you go straight and then turn, the it's side. right next to the coffee. Okay, I got you. Thanks. Thanks. What did they say they wanted? Sour patch? Okay. Hey. Hey. Look at that. Find me more. Sour Patch. How about one of those too? Sour Patch. Three dollars. All right, good. Fifteen items or less. I don't know which one. Have a good day. All right. I've been down ever since I was. Yep, got the paint and I got the candy to bribe the kids to put the black base coat on the tiles. And now it's time for a burrito. I'm hungry. Let's get a burrito. You got Neil Smith on the bass, Joey Napolitano on the organ, and Frank Bones Rizzo on the drums. With the lead part taken by clarinetist Jacob Schmithheimer. That's the Jacob Schmithheimer Quartet 1957 recording at the Crimson Ballroom in New York City. You're listening to the Jazz Band. WDCB, one hour. Wow. Yeah, listen to it swing. How's the painting coming along? Good. Uh, eight to go. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. Hi, Dad. You know who deserves candy? Me. This guy. Oh, Dad, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a box? Did you paint? Have you done any painting, Paul? I set up no. this whole show. Did you paint? I Nobody think I did. Yeah, no. What did you paint? Did you paint? Did all the paint of all the, the black box. that's on this table, which of it is yours? I'll paint the last six. There's like Although I will say you can't. Those need some. Really? That's what I keep telling you. Yeah, I'm just saying oh, that. that. Right there, yeah. so I was working on all the good I ones. Me, I all the good ones are missing the side bits. All right, so I'm going to say that this last box can be shared between people who paint. So Neely deserves her own box. Neely does. So Carl, you're going to have to share your box with Neely. Albert. I didn't do anything. No, yeah, I didn't Albert didn't do anything. Do anything. Nice Albert. job. Nice job. Yeah, Neely gets I'll her take, own I'll box. I'll take yes. like two or three. Yeah, I'll give Albert like two or three. Thank you so much. Bill, you're too good to win. <laughs> I got my own box just because I asked for it. Well, it's looking good. Now, only two more coats? Well, 
Depends on. See, I've seen a lot of spots. <laughs> all in, uh -oh. all in that sense. I was uh -oh. gonna say, Cav, you might want to slow down on your roll with those Sour Patch Kids until you touch up those. Oh, fuck. Because he, uh, he took my brush. I was doing. I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing. Maybe Albert's got some technique there. So we want to just go no. heavy on that. I just kind of like slap. Yes, I deserve my own box all over myself. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll do is I bought some more tea. They didn't have any big jugs, which was kind of disappointing that they had no. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like to put Okay, Carl. I'm Willie's so glad Dave is coming for the behind the scenes. Carl, I meant jugs of paint. You know, like here, big jug, little jug. Right. So they didn't have any of the big ones, so I had to buy four like little ones. Jugs. Okay. But you know, big black jugs. paint is one of those things where you can never really have too much of it because it's always handy. It's like big jugs. Yeah. It's <laughs> ah, that's so sometimes, fun. you know what, though? Sometimes the little jugs are better. Because they're a little easier to handle. It's refreshing. Bill's a feminist. A little easier to handle. <laughs> fan of you know, jugs. Um, <laughs> sometimes big jugs get sloppy. To be honest with you. I, thought, I mean, it's a lot of pain. Yeah. One jug. Yeah. Wait, are we talking about pain or are we talking about booze? Because I don't know. We're talking about pain, Carl. Talk Carl, about paint. We're, we're talking about pain. I mean, Carl, that would not oh, be appropriate out at all. Here. To talk about booze. Carl, I'm that's sorry. inappropriate. I'm sorry. For the viewers, for the in fans. In the studio. You're right. In my Christian Nothing studio. Nothing bad happens oh. in the studio. So, there's Bill right there in his chair, and these are some of his students, and I don't not this a bus. student. <laughs> I'm not in this bus. And these are Bill's tiles from D and D, and is that Bill's paint? Yes. Paint brushes too. Yep. Okay. Yep. These and are all my supplies. I didn't use any school money for them, and. All the candy that I'm bribing them with to do this slave labor was all paid for out of my own money. No, no club account money. That was the best idea. Bribery. He also hits us. You know, the way I look at it, Sean, <laughs> I, I, I like to think of it as reinvesting in the show. See, these are the students learning about terrain crafting, which is, you know, uh, a they growing subculture within the gaming community. Right. So they get to learn about um, terrain crafting firsthand. You and said by applying, this, we get beat. well, that that too, but Papa, you, you know, but then today. they learn about you know the, the oh, finer God. arts, literally the fine <laughs> arts of painting. Bill, is that a whip in your hand right there? <laughs> Bill, no. <laughs> When's Heather coming back? <laughs> Bill, what no. you do with Heather? Thursday. I don't think it's. <laughs> I think it's no coincidence that Heather's not here because she probably just didn't want to get recruited into painting the base coat for all these tiles. Heather's coming back for us one day. Girl, Maybe she's gonna get all of us out of this. What? You get Matt's. You get Matt's because Matt no, did the worst yeah, job. I asked for it. No, you have to share some because yeah. your paint job sucked. <laughs> Look, These are your <laughs> <laughs> Those are your still, There are still pink lines in between there. Get to work. Also, Albert, get you that did a brush. really good job. Thank you. Like, oh. Ashley. Well, yeah. There's like one here that's my fault. Lord,